Every time you open Adobe XD, you will be greeted with this home screen. And inside of it, you have a few options that we are going to explore in this video. First things first, right here on your left, you have this menu. So you are at home, obviously. You have add-ons, which we're going to explore uh, in one of the next videos. You have your work, so you can access your cloud documents right here. And these right here are your recent documents, which are being saved to cloud. These are the documents which are shared with you. So if you're working with the client, for example, and they shared the documents with you, you can access them easily right here. You can manage links, as I said uh, in the download XD video, if you're using free plan, you have to manage those links and you can quickly click right here and you can delete the old links that you don't need anymore and you can create new ones for sharing and therefore keeping your free plan going. Right here you can access everything you have deleted and here you can access your computer and you can click right here and open the files from your computer. You can ch quickly uh, check out what's new by clicking right here and you can see all of those different updates and you can see different blog posts and videos walking you through the new updates and features and what they have launched recently. Learn and support, you can access different tutorials, you can access different links and you can access everything that the team has to offer to make your life a little bit easier if you're starting out with XD. And finally, you can click provide feedback and it will take you to user voice, which I mentioned in download Adobe XD video. And inside of there, you can make your voice be heard basically, and you can write your feedback and you can upvote other users feedbacks and the features uh, which have most upvotes and the team found them useful and uh, constructive, they will build it and include them in the future versions of XD. So for example, uh, users wanted Photoshop integrations, they listened, they included it. Users want hover effects, they listened, they included it as well, and so on. Right here we have different artboard sizes, so we have iPhone sizes, and you can click right here and you can access all of the different iPhone sizes as well as Android mobile sizes if you're working with Android and that's a nice quick shortcut that you can access and you don't have to go through for, for example Adobe's website and figure out what are the sizes, you have everything accessible right here. Next you have iPad sizes as well as Android tablets, Surface Pro 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on and you can quickly cho choose from there and simply click right here and it will create a new artboard for you. If you're designing for web, you have the most commonly used sizes for web right here. And in any of these cases, you can always change the artboard size inside of Adobe XD. But this is just a starting point to get you started and to open up the program and start working on it. And finally, we have custom size. So I can type in, for example, 800 by 800, let's say I can click enter and it will take me to that uh, custom artboard size and I can start working. So for example, if you're not working for any of these uh, scenarios and you're working, for example, for social media or for graphic design work or something like that, you can always check that custom size and you can enter custom values right there click enter or return and it will open up that custom size. Finally, we have uh, right here, uh, explore their tips and you can click through this pagination and you can learn more about the latest features. This obviously changes whenever they launch a new update, which is important to them. And they found that it will be extremely important to the users. So you can click right here on this link and you can learn more about these particular features in this case, co-editing. So if you don't know what co-editing is, you can click right there to learn more about it. And they go into uh, details about what it is, how you can use it, some use cases and how it can be useful for you and your future work. So that's basically it for this welcome screen. In the next video, we're going to explore add-ons. So I'll see you there.